Hi everybody, I am back with my Halloween series, The 13 Haunted Projects of Halloween. Today we are on number 5, and I thought we could make this really cute cauldron, which is cauldron treat tote. That's what it looks like from the side, the back. This is very similar to, let me pull it out for you. The pumpkin tree tote that we made for the first one in the series, number one. Except this one's made with circles, and when we cut off our piece, instead of putting it on the bottom, we're going to put it on the top. Okay, so it's kind of similar, but a little bit different measurements, and it's just put together a little differently. Okay, so I'm going to show you really quick what I used. I used my four and a quarter scallop circle to create this um, for the potion bubbles which I'll show you how to do and then I ran it through with my polka dot embossing folder okay let me set that aside and then I used three different stamp sets for this one the trick or treat one came from the Inka Dinka Do All Hallows Eve stamp set right here and then the witch's broom came from this graphic 45 stamp set this one I don't see a name but it's the happy hauntings oh I put it in backwards I'm sorry let me flip that around it's this one right here and then this one is the steampunk spells from graphic 45 I used the little Witch's Brew stamp here. I just colored them up a little bit. And then when I cut out my broom, which I'll show you how it stamps out, it has these little stars here. I didn't want that, so I just I cut that out and didn't use those. And that's it. That's how my tree tote turned out. So let's get started. Besides this four and a quarter scallop circle, you're going to need two other circles that measure four and a quarter. You're going to need a sheet that measures seven by four and a half. And then for our handle, which I'm going to cut right now, let me get out my cutter. For that, you're going to need a half inch piece by six inches. Um, we'll set the handle aside and then once you get your four and a quarter circles out I pretty much put them together nice and tight. I lined them up in my cutter at the three and a half inch mark and trimmed. Okay, three and a half inches. You're going to trim off these two little pieces, and that's going to make your cauldron. So, we're going to set that aside and start making our box. Our box you're going to line up at the seven inch mark, and you're going to score at three inches, and again at four inches and then flip it around to the four and a half inch side and you're going to score one inch flip it and score an inch on the opposite side this one is assembled much like the pumpkin tree tote we made let's fold up our score lines the only difference with this box is it's higher and it's a little more narrow. Okay, so I folded all my score lines. I'm going to want to cut up on the score lines here and here so you end up with a center flap and two side flap panels. Flip it around, cut on this score line to meet the next and the score line to meet the next and you should have a center flap with two side panels. 
the center flaps. Let me get my glue. I'm going to add glue to my center flap on the inside. And I'm just going to take one of my flaps and meet it up with that one. And I'm going to do the same thing to this side. Glue. And fold this piece in to meet up. Okay, she should have something that looks like that. Now I'm going to add glue to this flap and this flap. You could also use double-sided tape with this. I just decided to use my glue. Put my cap on here. Okay, I'm going to close my box down and then fold up the flap to meet with the top. Same thing on this side. Fold the flap up to meet. I'm going to run my bone folder on the insides. And there we go. We have our little box. So the next part you're going to want to adhere your your front part of your cauldron to the box. But before we do that, we're going to want to decorate it with our potion bubbles. So from this scallop circle, I pretty much just went in and cut some pieces off and decided how I wanted it pieced. You could just do that and go straight across with it, but I wanted to add some different, like, looks like it's coming off this way and this way. So just kind of go in and cut some bigger pieces off. And then I just matched up scallops. Like, I have this one going across. So I think I want to match up this scallop right here and kind of put it at a diagonal. So this scallop here, I'm just matching it with this one, okay, and running it off on the side. So I'm going to glue my first piece across, and this you're going to have to play around with and, you know, kind of decorate it how you like. It's all personal preference at this point. Glued that piece across. I'm going to add glue to this hole back here because I'm not really sure how I want it. But I think I'm going to go across like that. And as you can see, we have some hanging off, but that's okay because we're going to trim that off once we're done. Okay, now on this side, I think I want a little piece hanging off again as well. So I think I like that. I'm going to kind of go in and cut around, just cut a piece off. And I'm going to match up this scallop with this scallop here. Okay, I'm going to layer those two scallop pieces on top of each other. Kind of run this scallop down the side. Now you can see what it looks like from the back. Okay. And I'm going to go into the back now. And I'm just going to follow my black cauldron circle. And I'm going to trim those pieces right off. Okay, so I ended up with something that looks like this, and it's a little bit different than this one, and that's okay, it's what you want. And I'll save this for maybe my next cauldron box. Now at this point I want to ink it up with a little bit of black soot. So I went ahead and inked up my edges. And then I just kind of ran it in over my polka dots a little bit here and there. That side. Looks like that. Now I'm going to want to butt it up against my box. So it's easier if you add glue to your box. Okay. 
open end on top and just kind of center it and butt it right up against. And then just wipe off those little pieces of glue there. My rag. I'm going to flip it around and make sure it's good and pressed down on that side. I'm going to turn it around this way. And we're going to butt up this piece against the box here and make sure it's lined up with the cauldron piece in the front. So let's add more glue to our box. And I'm going to want to eyeball it, center it up. That looks pretty good. Go inside and push down. Okay, wipe off that little bit of glue there. And that's it, that's our box. Now for the handle, I did this one a little differently. You could put it, put my glue on here for a second. You could put your handle from here to here if you wanted to. I didn't want to do that because this is a smaller treat box in here, as you can see. And I didn't want to be in the way going this way, so I put mine in the front. But you can put yours on however you'd like. You can put it on the outside of your box, on each side, like here and here, or the inside. Or you can do it like I did and do it on your front panel piece. So if you want to do it on your front panel piece, just add a little tiny bit of glue. Oh, first I ran my bone folder, kind of curled it a little bit. Put a little bit of tiny glue there and here right to the back of your front panel piece. So you can see there, right to the back area. I'm going to take this side, add a little bit of glue. And just curl it around and add it to the front panel piece on this side. Okay, now for the inside where all this green stuff here, I just used my pinking shears here from Fiskars and I cut up these little strips, scallop strips, and then I went ahead and kind of crunched them and crinkled them up like that. Okay, just go through and cut them and crinkle them up and I made a little bag of them here. So we're going to add those inside. You could put your treats inside, you know, little candies, whatever you want to do, and then pop on a couple of these on the top to make it look really cute. Um, but before we do that, we're going to want to add our little stamped embellishments here that I backed on tape. So I'm going to put my broom on first. The broom, I put the dimensional foam tape. Just kind of eyeballed where I wanted it on the box. And push that down. Now the handle's loose. So what I did was I kind of pulled it down and added a little bit of glue to it. And glued it right down to the box. Okay, this piece is just going to hang off. You could also go in with a little piece of ribbon and make a little bow here. A little bow ribbon, that would look really cute. And then the Witch's Brew Bottle, I did not put any dimensionals on because I want it to be in the back of my broom. I just added a little glue to this side of the back. And I'm going to layer that in behind my broom. And then my sentiment piece, trick or treat, I put on foam tape. And I'm going to center that in the middle of my, my box. And push that down. And that's it. And then I'll 
it's already filled with treats, we're going to pretend. And I'm going to just stuff it full of my paper. Whoop. And I might add ribbons to these. I think these would be great for my craft show, too. Bag them up like I did um, the pumpkin treat totes. And there you go. There's our cauldron treat boxes all finished. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And I hope you have fun decorating yours. Take care.